all right hey y'all welcome to my channel it's ranisha aka your email bay and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create a countdown timer inside of your clavial emails all right so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i put a countdown timer inside of my clavio emails now you can use this for any type of template that's inside of clavio um this is a one column template under the basic and this is under the drag and drop okay so first thing you want to do is go ahead and put in your branding okay your logo or whatever it is that you want to use i'm going to be using my logo okay put in your alt text make sure you always use your alt text bay logo then i'm going to put in my web address Okay, so boom, we got that. So right here is where we want to put in our timer. So we're going to delete all of this information. And now the web, the countdown timer that I like to use is mailtimers.com. I'll drop their web address in the description below. So what you're going to do is when you get to mail timers, they have a free plan, but it does have their branding on it. And they also have a paid plan that's like $9.99 a month. So I'm using a $9.99 a month plan. So I don't have the branding on there. So you will go to create timer. Okay. And as you can see all through here, they are the different styles of timers that you can use. For the sake of this video, we're going to use this timer here. And I usually use the fixed date timer. So I use um, timers for um, sales and then on a certain day to create a sense of urgency. So what you would do, you would go here to the fixed date and then you go to event date and time. So let's say um, we're going to have a, and this is in military time. So you got to kind of do the um, calculations for yourself. Um, this is midnight and then this is, um, 12 30 a.m 1 a.m things like that and then once once it get to noon let's see once it gets to noon okay one o'clock um 1 p.m 1300 is actually 1 p.m so you have to do the configuration of the um, times and things like that okay so let's say we want this to change we want the sale to be on the 19th and it's going to end at noon Okay, then you would name your timer and we're just going to say this is flash sale. And then you want to change your time zone. So the time zones are a little bit tricky here. So my time zone is Eastern, Eastern time. So I would just go in here and find Eastern time. Make sure you um, have this correct your time zone that you are in that you are operating in okay and then you can go here and you can change the sizing this is how you change the sizing you see the timer width this is the width and this is the height as you make it bigger or as you make it smaller that's how you change that so i like to go about um 44 no it's not 44 i think it's 50 I like to use a timer. I like my timers to be big. So I use like um, 50 and then you have your font. So they have a couple of different um, styles that you can use for your font. So you can just scroll through, scroll through here and pick out the different font that you may want it to look like. So like if you wanted to use that, that it was what it would look like. So that would be like maybe a Halloween theme um, font or something like this if you're doing like cyber monday matrix type of thing so but me i like to keep it simple so i'm gonna use my same font that i use all the time for everything all right and so you can go down here and you can actually add in a custom font if you want to and so we got this background color and we have a primary color. So as you can see, the primary color will be the outline of the numbers and the wording. And then the background quarter color, of course, is 
the background color. So me, all of my emails, I like to have a blue background. So I would change this to the same background as my um, email is going to be. So if you're just going to have a plain white email, you can just change it to white and that would be um, better for you. That will, you know, make everything look, you know, like it's all one email and it all goes together. Okay. So that's how I would change my email. And then you have the advanced settings where you can add a background picture. I usually only use this for the, um, so once this timer expires, um, you can put a message there. So being that this is a flash sale, I will put, um, you, and I like to make a cap. You missed out on the flash sale. I like to put something very catchy, um, but you can put whatever you like for your, um, for your, um, message. Okay. Then I will just hit save. Then it's going to give me a little HTM, um, H, you know, a little coding. So you want to copy that coding. Then you want to go back over to Clavio and you want to hit this button right here where it says source code. Delete that. And then you want to paste that code that you just got from um, mail timers. Okay. And you see it's kind of off. So you want to go ahead and center it. And then remember I said I like to keep make my emails blue. So I will go here and I will change this background color to blue. So it could be on brand. And then I would change this background to blue so it could be on brand as well. And I would even change this to blue as well. Okay, so everything looks cohesive. It's all blended in together. And you can see what it looks like on mobile. This is what it looks like on desktop. And that is it. That is how I add a countdown timer to my Clavio emails. If you have any questions, drop them below.